Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to make a hidden knife chopstick. For making the blade, I am going to use 1 mm thick high carbon steel. Steel is cut to shape using copying saw. I am using this homemade rig to bevel the blade. Bevel angle can be changed by changing these lengths. For finishing the blade, I am going to use sandpaper. For heat treatment, first the blade is quenched and then it is tempered. I am using a butane torch to heat the blade and a magnet fixed to the end of a stick is used to check the temperature. When the steel reaches quenching temperature, it will get demagnetized. I am using water for quenching, which is a bad idea. If the quenching is done correctly, the file can't scratch the steel easily. There is a small bend in the blade which I will try to correct in tempering. I am placing the blade between two metal pieces and heating it to 200 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. and I broke the blade in half. But I can use this to demonstrate the difference between heat treated and non heat treated blades. Untreated metal will easily bend. The quenched blade is too brittle so you can even break it with your hand. After the tempering, the blade will act like a spring. It can bend and come back to the original shape. I can make a small knife from this broken blade and leftovers from different projects. The handguard is made from the piece of brass from my Wonder Woman shield video. The handle is made from rosewood from the chopstick blog and video. And the end is made from the brass piece from the cookery knife video. Let's come back to the blade for the chopstick. This time, I am using motor oil for quenching, for a slower cooling to reduce stress.
Also I have increased the width and reduced the length of the blade. I have to drill two holes for the pins. Always do all the machining before heat treatment. I broke two drill bits while doing this. I am using four pieces of rosewood for the chopstick. All the parts are glued with epoxy and pins are made from 1.5mm brass rod. Chopstick is tapered using 80 grit sandpaper, one end is 10 mm square and the other end is 5 mm square. Ends are also made from brass. Once the profiling is done, edges are rounded off.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next video.